Hello everybody, Sift here again, and today we'll be playing Rasen Racing. The game is a roguelike auto butler card game deck builder that also has permanent stats. I'm gonna go into this in a moment. Let's start the run. I did already do a two-hour run here. I have played the game before to test and see how things go. And let's begin the game. Now we will be skipping a bit of a story here or there because of the fact that uh, I did do a run through this game. So a lot of stories not gonna be repeating. And also I want to mention right away that this is a sponsored video. So uh, yeah, the game is going to be out in 6th of November. You can go ahead and buy and play it. And let's start this. So the game always begins with this meta progression, which I'm not going to go into right now. And deck. So uh, what does a deck do? Well, you create a deck and you start with random cards. Let's see what we got today. So first of all, we got 3 times 25 health for 10 mana. This is how the card is read. This is the mana. This is the, what it does. And then this is how many times you have it. So this is always a must. You always, not a must, this is a force. You always get healing in the beginning. And the rest of these cards are randomized. So I also got for 10 mana, I gained 1% speed. Speed is attack speed pretty much. So uh, yeah, that's that. And then I got 1 times for 10 mana, get 2 damage, which is 2% damage straight up and for 20 mana gain four armor armor is a shield that you always get at the start of the fight so the more armor we gain the more shielding we're gonna start for these are all permanent by the way so this means every time i play this card i will forever get one percent attack speed four percent two percent damage forever four armor at the start of each fight so you can start like with 300 armor or something and we have two of those and then we have one of these which says 25 percent mana i oh, know 25 mana and to give us 8% crit chance and crit damage. Crit chance and crit damage are the same thing in this game. And then vulnerable one, which means the next attack I'm going to take is going to be double damage. So we have 8 cards. If I had more than 10 cards, I would be gaining uh, energy boost. The game calls energy keep. So that's what you spend to uh, attack and uh, to use the cards. Let's leave. Uh, I have already beaten the first stage, but I'm still going to go to the first stage, honestly, because, uh, yeah, because I want to showcase the game and be chill and vibe. I haven't played the second stage. Let's go with this and let's start the run. So what do we watch in this map? First of all, there is one mini boss right here at the bottom and one uh, mega boss here at the right side. We are over here on this side. Now, the other things that are very important to mention is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven card shops. And then we have one legendary card shop. Those are those things. And then you also have this thing which is some kind of buff this thing which is also a relic and a kind of buff and that thing which is also a relic kind of buff and here you can reorganize your cards whenever you want like create the deck again and again so the idea is we want to go to cards so we get a better deck going and then while we get cards we also want to go through um, I guess like this line to get the buff forever. This is, as I said, the relic buff style. And then over here for the other card, go over here, get the relic. Like we want to zigzag over this line and then get the elite and then end the game. So let's go into fight and I will be explaining what's happening. Let's go. Now, uh, opponents are coming in. I can pause. These guys have a bar here, which I unlocked with Meta Progression. That is going to fill up. And whenever that fills up, they're going to attack us. Now, when I play a card, at half a second before we get attacked, I get a shield. Every single card gives you a shield. And that shield is you getting hit for less damage. So it's important to play the cards when the opponents are about to attack. Other things that can happen here, with right click, I can throw a card away. And uh, yeah, that's it pretty much. Uh, when I th throw a card away, I gain three mana. So for example, throwing this out. Ah, the opponent died. And I played the attack speed card too at the end. So we get the attack speed. It was only one opponent. So as you see, we got plus one attack speed forever for the rest of this run. So these stats are permanent. Let's go. It was only one opponent. We burst through him right away. I would like to get armor a lot. Healing is relevant right now. So let's just throw it away. By the way, you have as many cards. You're not throwing away a card specifically. You're throwing away a full on card slot. Attacks incoming. Boom, block it. Shield it. So every time I right click and throw away a card we literally get one less card forever. So right now I only have one card slot. That, and, and, and every time I play a card, it will always come back to this card slot, right? So if I throw this away and get another card, it's going to be here. I wanted to play it at the end. So I can throw... We have card slots. We start with three card slots and you can go up to five. That's how many cards you have in hand. But every time you play a card, you all instantly draw a card back. And if you throw a card away, then you don't get a card back. We get you th But you get three mana, temporary, right? And drawing another card for your maximum hand is five mana. So um, you need to balance that out. Most of the time, most of these ones, I will just throw all my hand away and then uh, just play the one card that is left. Unless the card is healing, then I will throw that out and try to draw another one in its place. Because the tr like throwing something out gives you three and drawing a new card gives you five, uh, costs you five. So you pretty much only play almost half price. You, you pay like two. You literally pay two. You get three, you pay five. So you get you pay two to re-roll a card. Uh, let's go to the shop. So maybe we can find a better card. Now the game has become harder and harder. Here at the top right, you can see enemy levels 3D. 
That is important to keep in mind. I would like to get my damage cards in. Uh, I don't really care about the attack speed that much. Here is the 10% damage card. Let's throw the attack speed away. And let's block. And we got armor. I think armor is really important. Armor is important. Crits is important. Damage is important. The rest I don't think matter that much. I'm just waiting for my mana to come out. Uh, we will lose a bit of life here. That's okay. They got a tank. They're hitting us. Block. Block their second attack too. I don't want the speed. I also don't want the heal. I also don't want the heal. And we got armor once again. I think armor is better than healing and shielding and pretty much everything. And we got another speed. I might as well invest in this. And we got the 8% crit chance for 8. I'm going to wait for 25. I'm going to wait for this to fill up. And I'm going to try to use this the moment we're about to get attacked. So I can block the double damage. Here, block. Boom. We only got hit for 4. I'm going to wait for this shielding. I think shielding is like the most important thing in this game. Because as you can see right now, we have 200 life and we already have 24 shielding. This 24 shielding is throughout the game. Uh, always going to give us 28, by the way, now. Throughout this whole game, we're going to be gaining 28. And we just got my ultimate, which just press it. It's going to start firing. Smack, smack, and smack. And I played the card at the end and we got 16 crit chance. Very nice. Very nice. And let's see what we found. Pharma, pharmacopoeia, pharmacopoeia, what? Pharmacopoeia, 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 I don't even know. This is supposed to be a Greek word, but it looks so wrong to me. Pharmacopoeia, yeah, this this O here is wrong. Uh, cure, plus five keeper, cure status level. This heals away debuffs. Very, opponents don't always do debuffs. Uh, for, for four mana attack, all of them once, I don't care about this. For 15 mana, gain two parry, two armor. Permanent, and then if I specifically parry card with this, and not attack with this, so if I play it exactly before an opponent attacks, I also get 20 temporary armor. Honestly, we don't care about this as we roll. Next attack steals life, that seems good. Two reflecting and shielding one, one evade, and when you parry, get a boost. Next attack steals life, seems like a good idea to me. For 10 mana, that's, uh, I think, more powerful healing. Your next X attacks steal health points. The amount of recovery health point is equal to 10% of the damage inflicted. Multiplied by the amount of leech. Does this leech? You know what, let's roll him. 20 health, but discard the card. 4 crit chance, and if you parry, you gain 1.5 power. Power is add X to the damage multiplier of your next attack. So it's only one time you attack heavy. It's a reroll for 40. Shielding, 1. Or 0 mana. 0 mana is just a card you play for free. Like, boom, you play it, it's done. And shielding is that your next temporary shield is actually going to block an attack no matter what happens. But this is 4 armor, and if you parry, you gain Duplieren. Dupliren is as X strikes to the next attack. Okay. And one speed, and if you parry, you get deflation five. I'm gonna go with this. And now I have five coins left. I will obviously add this to the deck. Now um, excuse me, but why do I still have only eight cards? What need more cards in deck? Legendary, you must have at least 15 cards in, in your deck to be able to add this one. Oh, I was not aware that's a thing. Should have read it when it was a choice to read it. By the way, opponents are becoming harder here at the top right. The longer all of my fights take, the more the opponents are gonna have more health. Uh, not more health, more health, more damage, more everything. But as you can see, now we do have the starting shielding, right? You see, we have 24 shielding. So I will just slowly creep up my, dam my, my armor and my health too. And then at one point, we're never going to lose health again, ever. Because fact of the matter is, this uh, plus four shielding, as I said, we will be gaining this at the start of every single fight. Chris is here. I would like to get that as my final card. Kill the opponent, play the card, and we can't play anything else. Now, uh, I have meta progression that says that at the end of the fight, this red bar goes slowly down. And while it's going down, I can still play my last cards so as to get the last buffs into the build. Here is one enemy. We're obviously going to start with a crit, if possible. And look at this. Now we have 3d6 life. Like, imagine having 200 armor. That would be almost a full life worth of health in every single fight. You see how fast this can become broken? Get hit. Boom, block it. You see there is no double damage. Or at least it doesn't feel like there was. We got hit again. Twice again. I still have armor. Up, oh, block. Boom. Nice. Uh, I think we just should go for armor, man. The healing is really irrelevant in my mind. This guy's gonna get smacked, boom, hit us, block this, and the more armor we get, as I said, the safer we are. Damage is also important, of course. I only have 10% damage right now. What is this? Ignores evade. Well, guess what? We don't have evade. We have armor. Block that. Nice. Throw this away. Get some damage. I'm gonna get crits for the last card played. This guy's gonna die. Boom. Get the crits. Another crits is here. Might as well play the healing because I didn't have enough. And now we have 16% higher crit chance. So my crit chance is already at 40% very fast. And this continues going. If you read this, it says the higher the crit chances are, the stronger the damage multiplier is going to be. So 
It's gonna be a lot of crit damage. This is a crit build. My damage is supposed to be 10, by the way. 10 flat out. And I, I'm right now I should be doing 11 or 12 based on how the game calculates that. I'm doing 11, it seems. Let's shield there. I'm not sure if I did actually shield. But we got those boys. And I got the crit chance ready. And we got the tank. So this is going to be, once again, a long while. Now, the game is balancing you slow playing. Because it's as if I'm slow playing right now. Although I'm not really trying to slow play. By making the game harder, the more you... Uh, the more taxi, the more time it takes. That's what That was a mistake. I'm going to get hit very heavily here. Unless I got... Ah, I got hit for 10. It's okay. Um, yeah, as I tried to say, the game is becoming harder and harder the more you slow play this. So as to, you know, if, if, if I'm going to be very slow, then the game is going to become very hard. You know, that's the idea. Throw both of these away. Start getting some cards. Crits. Nope, that was a mistake. Uh, double vulnerable is also going to be a mistake for that matter. I'm going to block the next one incoming. Go up, block it. Boom, 12 damage taken. That's not going to be good. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to be good at all. Block this one too. 7 damage taken. Okay, uh, let's throw this away and get the next one. Crits again. Crits is really good, actually, because that's going to increase my damage by a good, good, good amount. Dark speed's a bit relevant. Health is definitely relevant. And now crits. We will get hit here for normal damage. But it's okay. We already got my crits up to almost 100%. That's ultimate. And with the man, I will have... Attack, attack, attack. Play the man. Ah, I tried to get the last attack speed up. Damage is more important than attack speed, by the way. Attack speed is completely relevant. Damage is very, very, very relevant. If I can do double damage and I can do like 100,000 damage hits, 23 damage right here. 23 damage again. You see how this is going to become very much? 23 damage again, again, again. And you're gone. And this here is a bomb, by the way. You can see what the opponents are going to come in, chime in and do. Let's block. Nice. We block the, the good hits. We got speed here, but honestly, as I said, armor is more important. I don't care about healing. We're going to throw that away. I got blocked. Blocked is minus attack speed. It's not really that bad as a, as a debuff. Shielded. It's also heal 25. Why not? It's also got some attack speed. And as I said, because the next opponent is going to be a, a YOLO Exploder, we're going to keep one mana open at 20. Ah, yep. He's going to YOLO into us. Bombo. Block it. And heal at the end too. Very nice. And this is slowly going down, but we can't do anything about it. 12th armor gain in this fight. Very nice. Let's go first for the Relic, I would say. So that we get busted. Extagnation training device. What should I do as a training? Avoidance or protection? I would say let's go trial of protection. I mean, I'm a defensive, defensive builder anyway. Now let's go with this. And ignores half the damage. Oh no. So this is the protecting thing, right? And we're going to be getting hit from the back line. I'm just going to build up myself here as I was doing the whole time. Let's throw this away. And wait for an attack to come in. Block that. Nice. We will go for the shielding, I would say. And it's going to take a while for us to get through that thing. Once again, I could use these if I wanted to. Uh, just for the shielding aspect. I'm definitely going to go damage over speed. Block here. Nice armor over speed too. I just will throw the speed away at this point. Because this full armor is definitely better. Your toast. Backline's about to attack us. Boom, block that. Frontline. Ah, I didn't block it in time. Big mistake. Block again. Yeah, we are getting hit, but it's okay. We have 80 armor. So that means from here on out, every single fight, we will start getting more and more and more out of this. Ah, uh, more opponents, more opponents. Dry lasts a bit longer, it seems. Block, boom. Second one, did not have enough chi to block. The first liner is dying slowly. Block, nice. Shielded that. As long as I can survive this trial, we should be good to go. Now, obviously, I'm missing like a health potion right now, which is a bit important. Let's go ultimate, heal. Got the damage up. Nice. And one more heal at the end, maybe. Nice. And we got... What is this? Makes cards stronger and costlier. Charm of costly strength. I'm gonna take this. Let's see how much stronger and how much costlier. That's going to be the important aspect specifically. Let's go to the other relic. Actually, let's go for another card and then we're gonna go to the other relic. Okay, they are double... Double the value, but... I guess 15% more expensive. So that's actually worth... Oh, I got hit here heavily. Yeah, they, this... Like, for 15 heals me 20... 50 now. This for 30 gives me 8 shielding instead of 4 shielding for 20. Yeah, this is actually worth it. Definitely worth it. We will uh, boost here. We will become a lot more powerful, a lot faster. 22 damage. Uh, you know what? Let's play heal just to not die. Block. And now the armor gain is going to be insane. I would say I already have my armor in health. Half my health in armor, actually. Let's go here. Boom, boom. And still heal, but I think I'm going to continue the armor path. I would like to get something that gives us more uh, as, um, mana, whatever this is called. Key. Key. Block. Nice. 
I have 116 armor right now. I think the armor build is the play. I think this is gonna just make us immune to everything, the way this is going. Opponents are taking 25 damage per smack. Another armor piece. I don't know how much armor I will need, the way this is going. <laughs> I don't think we will need this much armor. How much I am pushing. Block, nice. And we got some attack speed here. I will accept 2% attack speed. Although I still believe that the attack speed version, I, I blocked there for no reason. 50 health. You attack me. Nope, didn't attack us. Uh, should I use this? No, we're gonna just wait for the min-max. Always wait for the opponent's attack. I don't have enough key for this. I'm about to get my ultimate ready. Let's run our card so we have some. And here we go. 8% crit chance twice. 3d7 mana. Okay, I'm gonna wait for this to pop. And then maybe even the heal to protect us from a smack that's gonna come in after. Want my crit chance to be higher and higher. How do I do crit chance 20 damage? Something is wrong. I'm doing... Okay, blocked everything. And let's ultimate. Might as well. These are useless cards. This is also a useless card. I don't need that much healing. And this guy's gonna die. And so we're gonna be able to play the shield. We were not. <laughs> it's okay. We could have played the heal if I didn't throw it away. 48 armor gain here. 16% crit chance and damage. Nice, nice, nice. And let's see what we can buy. 20 mana, which is actually gonna be 30 mana. 6% damage, which is actually gonna be 12% damage. And discard two cards. Um, I mean, I have one card most of the time, so this might as well be added. Three armor, and if you parry with this, you draw two cards. Oh, definitely, yes. I buy both of these. 4%? No, we're gonna buy both of these. I'm at 40%. Let's actually keep that. Let's go. And let's add these in the deck. Okay, obviously, I'm gonna try to play this whenever I have literally one card in hand. Uh, the legendary still cannot get added. I need 15 cards for that to get added. And we got a difficulty decreaser event. We're gonna definitely go to this. This decreases the difficulty of the enemy levels, but the event itself is pretty dangerous. So we might die here. Sif be like, oh, we're gonna go there and maybe die. Uh, part of the deal, part of the deal, part of the thing. I will keep this healing. We're gonna play the armor. I think I didn't block that in time. And we got the armor that gives us a um, card draw. Now this here doubling isn't really that useful, but still the card draw, if I can get the block off, it will give us six armor, right? And armor is, as I said, something very important. Uh, the card draw is gonna help us with just selling these, right? I can sell this and sell that and get the actual things I'm using, right? That's the idea here. So we're waiting for the opponent to smack us. Smack that. Turn on the flow. <laughs> Let's maybe draw a card and see what we can get. Nope. Hit us. Block. Nice. And we got the crits. That's 16% crit damage and chance. How do I do 18? I'm supposed to be doing guaranteed crits that do double damage, right? 25. 25 is the correct number. 18, I, I don't get how I get 18. 37 is even more correct. And we got 22 at the end. Nice, I played the card here at the end. Nice, 16% crit chance and 3D armor. Crits is the highest thing we're doing. And as you see, levels are becoming lower and lower and lower. 150 now. Uh, off into the relics. I would like to get a relic first before I go to any boss. I think this enemy, because he's blue, he slows you down when he attacks you. There, there seems to be some kind of mechanic that indicates that. Or I might be wrong, everything is blue. 25 damage on the crits. Once again, that's a bit weird to me, but 26 crits. I mean, I'm doing 13 damage right now, so my crits should be 26. 13 twice is 26. The vulnerable twice is not good. But uh, I thought crit damage. Now I'm doing 3d8. So now I would say crit damage is actually a thing. Literally before this, I thought crit damage is not a thing. I think it is. Lock. Also get the damage boost slowly going. Uh, now, if I can get this damage up to 200% and the crits up to 300%, then at that point, I would say we are madness and we should be completely busted. Let's also get some attack speed, obviously. Throw the healing away. Healing is going to be relevant throughout this. The more we play, the more relevant everything will become. Throw this away. Maybe get our... Oh, come on, man. I didn't know you... <laughs> I didn't know you uh, You can't do that. Let's go. I, I hope to get something 15. And this is the relic boy. So he's selling cursed relics. Did I not get? No, I did get my relic. And he's selling rare and legendary cards are more frequent, but costlier for 20. Your shield doesn't protect, but it attacks. Definitely not. Your health points regenerate slowly, but healing cards are less efficient. This is perfect, because guess what? I'm not playing the healing cards. We buy this. <laughs> we guaranteed buy that, as I'm not using healing cards at all. That is nice. Now I got both of these debuffs. Let's now go to the other... A relic boy and then we're gonna go because there is a crisp relic shop which i just was in that was the crisp relic and then there is a normal relic so let's go there and there are also cards in the road so these now heal us 22 instead of 25 wow 
Wow, there is literally no downside to what just happened. I'm gonna sell this and this, and I'm gonna wait for 3D to block with this and draw two cards. Don't kill this thing, block, nice. And as you saw, the one card we had, plus two more, that's why we have three. Very nice. Oh, I'm super happy about the, what the thing that just rolled. Block, get more shielding. My shielding is at 192. So if I lose my shielding right now, it's almost as if I would have died from full health. Okay, this has discard two cards, so I'm gonna just throw the two cards away. Really? Oh, this is unplayable. Oh, this is a trash card then. Oof, this is a very bad card for us. I thought it was actually better. Smack me, please. Oh, block. Nice, I don't care about the healing. And I'm not gonna have enough energy for that. It's okay. We got 10% damage. Let's go on. Let's continue. We got a parry draw. Too. I'm super disappointed about throw away too, though. I thought it was a lot better. Throw this away to maybe play the parry today. Nope. Yeah, this thing is not gonna survive. It did actually survive and give us cards. I'm gonna go for the 12% damage, throw two cards away. Smack him, 45 damage, that's nice. Block. Wow, that thing literally threw... I had four cards. And it brought me down to one. That's such a bad card, man. This is a really powerful card, the other one is a really bad card. Okay, we're gonna smack the first one to death instead. Oh, 50 damage and survived, okay. Our draw, very nice. Oh, we got a double block, therefore we got a huge card draw. Nice. Uh, this guy's shieldy boy. Block that. Ah! That thing has this card too. Ah, this thing triggers twice. That's why right, this is happening. I now understand. This thing is triggering twice. But it doesn't happen if it's at full life. I'm definitely gonna play this right now. Yeah, like, if, if I only have two... It's gonna throw away my whole hand, no matter what happens. Because it activates twice. So it gives me the damage twice, but it also activates twice for the dam for the for the discard version. Okay, I'm gonna go over here to make the game easier. So yeah, it, it still gives me six. This does this give me twelve? I need to look if it gives me twelve. Actually, that's the most important aspect of this. If this doesn't even give me twelve, like if it doesn't activate the second time, this then it's trash. I mean, six. So I have 180. It gave me only six. Oof! That card gets out of the deck right away. This is such a bad card. I need to draw my full hand and then play this to give me the attack twice. This gives me the double crits for free. This gives me 16 crit chance no matter what happens. That card is a no-no. This, this, this is rashness is just straight up a no for the thing we're going right now. Blocked right there. Throw this out, please. Now we got hit heavily, but it's okay. This is really good, though. Like, parrying. Let's throw this away. We got hit. Boom. Got to parry. Rashness is here. Who cares about that? I'm not gonna use it. Block. And I'm gonna go for more armor. Which, uh, as far as I have understood, when opponents die, they give us uh, some kind of different key based on how powerful the enemy was. This is what, attacks faster? Uh, whatever. Block. Uh, I would like to throw... I, I can't play anything. Might as well play the heal, I don't know. Let's go off to the curse mark on the map. Absorbs half. Absorbs half the heals. Which heals me, bro? We don't heal, man. We don't heal in this shop. Uh, forget the rashness. Although it's not really that. I mean, it's pretty bad. It still gives us 6% damage. I don't want healing. I don't want healing. Here we go. Crits. Crits. We're bogged. We are super slow. Who cares? We get more crit chance. Crit 11. How? How did I do 11 non-crit? Like, how do I not crit? Is that How is that even a thing in the first place? Ah, uh, that was a mistake. Bomb is incoming. Double damage bomb. Whoop. Boom. 36 damage. And I got some shielding at the end. Double damage bomb. And let's go on. I would like to go to a card shop, honestly. I have 71 coins. I don't know what this exactly is. Like, what the money in this game is called. But it's this thing, and you slowly get it up the more you um, survive. Like, the more fights you do, you just get the money up. Block. Nice. Run the health away. Throw the speed away is what I would also say. I think damage is like the most important aspect. Damage and shielding. As long as you have damage and shielding. By the way, look how much damage we're taking. Right? We took 240 damage in this fight. And even then, we're not really... Ah, come on. Okay, we got the 15% damage. I'm gonna wait for that for the opponent to attack us. Throw this away. Nice, we got parry and card draw. This is the best card in the deck we have, in my opinion. 3D, the armor and pair draw too. We got him. And I got another one, very nice. So we're gonna obviously activate another one of these. Especially if the opponents are gonna attack us both. No, I, I failed the first and succeeded in the second. So we got another one, so we'll throw you and throw you away. 
I keep this. Uh, I think the opponent is going to be able to attack us in time. Well, yes, they are. Now that was a bad block. Uh, throw this away, play that. Eh, I did what I could. 12 damage. And another reduced opponent difficulty has appeared on the map, which I also cannot get to. Uh, I would say let's go here to open the path up for the other one. This should be an easy fight, by the way. All of these fights should be easy. The earlier fights you get into, the more the game actually... Uh, yeah, the, the fights are fixed on the map. So if you, if you play an earlier fight, it's going to be easier. I'm going to go for the 6% damage here. Even though I threw things away. Let's go to this. This should be a joke fight. Uh, actually, no, this is always a hard fight. I take that back. We have 258 shield at this point, so I start with more than my max life. So that means if I die, if I lose all my armor, I would have died. Think about it like this. At least that's how I'm thinking about it and realize how busted armor is. I mean, I would have had some HP regen still, but <laughs> the fact that I got a tank that has blocking here in front of us. Block. I got the crits ready. I got another block ready. I do enjoy this parry block and draw two cards. I killed it. No. No. I do enjoy it and then I literally fail at it. I'm going to wait for the crits to happen. 22 on the crits. Block there. Ooh, we got hit heavily. I'm vulnerable. Oh, 26 damage. We got hit for heavy damage. This is you cannot avoid. Smack him. We're going to go for the shielding here. We need even more shielding, it seems. We do have a very slow HP region. Let's not forget that. Super shieldy boys on the opponent side of the board. Everything has ignores half the damage taken. At least we have some regen, am I right? At least we have some regen. Boom, 33. Up, oh, block. I got the parry on the ready. I got the heal on the ready. I don't need to do... Wow, that healing actually saved us. We should have, would have died. I cannot play this. We, we actually would have died. I got hit like... For, I, I got, think I got hit for 44 and healed 50 or something. Okay, we reduce the difficulty of the game. Another difficulty decreaser is appearing over there. Uh, I want to go to relics. Man, this is a very bad lineup. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fights until I get there. And that's gonna kill us. Let's go for cards. Hoping that we're gonna get another difficulty decreaser somewhere else. <laughs> Insta kill. <laughs> Instant boom dead. You what? 65. And that thing is surviving even. We're still going for the shielding block nice i got my stupid 12 percent damage i guess i'm gonna play the stupid 12 percent damage which literally is gonna throw away my whole deck let's play a heal i'm gonna play this it's okay that they hit us doesn't matter bomber boy isn't coming so that's what we're gonna use my what boom heal i don't got the parry and card draw that's nice hopefully we're gonna get it in time we don't <laughs> this thing's gonna die from one hit it didn't. Nice. 69. Also nice. Okay. And I would say we go for the damage. No! I didn't press the button in time. <laughs> Took me a while there. We're still healing. Evade recovery. What is recovery? If this card is discarded, its effect activates for free. Oh. Oh. And it gives us evasion. Combos with the rashness. Evasion is very mech. Zero minus X HP. All cards cost zero. Where X is what? Lose an amount of health points equal to the cost of all the cards in your hand. And then I use them to zero. Yeah, this is gonna literally kill us. Uh, let's reroll. Boost one armor per card. 15 mana. Which is actually not 15, like 23 or whatever. And it's plus one armor per card in your hand. So this is up to plus four armor. Not really that good, but it's boost. Boost on card books. X cards in your hand. Multiplying their effects when played. Cards can be boosted multiple times. I guess yes on the boost. Three shield and boost one for 3D, which actually is like 45. The katana one and leech one, which is actually the katana two and leech two for 12. What does this do? Get one the katana, one leech two. The katana, your next X attacks affect all enemies instead of one. And leech your next X attacks heal the points uh, equal to 20%. So this is 20% healing and twice attack everything. I'm gonna go with this. I don't want this though. Three shields and one boost. Boost it once again. X card in the hand. Multiplying their effect when played. Cards can be boosted multiple times. What is shielding? Amount of flat damage reduction when you're temporary shield. No, 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 no. I care about armor, not shielding. Uh, you will join both of you. I have 12 cards right now, so my key regen is faster. 
More cards have the better, obviously, because the key region is going to be faster. We're going to try to go towards the right side there now. So we've got the 18 die katana thing. So I guess the main play is to get as many random cards in your deck as possible and then just throw them away and get them back as fast as possible because you get more key region. Is this going to die in one hit? Don't die in one hit, thank you. Go here, boom. I'll go with damage and throw... Ah, I tried to throw them all away to get maybe one more crit chance. I'm going to continue. Level 290 on the difficulty. Which is just a number, it doesn't mean anything. Okay, so this is going to boost twice something, is what I understand. And the boost is that they're going to activate more times, right? So, yeah, this has three times and three times. Nice. It's actually good. If it hits some very specific things, it's going to be good. I'm taking very big damages. Oh, that was a bad block. Also a bad block, because I didn't really block anything. Shielded. And I got the crits. I think I want to continue with going for the crits. Damage could also be a thing. But still, let's go with the crits. Boom. I'm still regening very slowly anyway. I would like to... Whoop, block. Double damage incoming. Block again. Nice. Blocked it. It still took a huge hit. And we got the shielding plus card draw. So I'm going to wait for that now. Whoop, block. Nice. Draw that. And we got the leech and the katana. We're going to use it in the next fight. So, ah, do I want to? I mean, let's do it. If I'm going to hit boom, 20 healing. Very nice. Boost the card. Hit this. Don't play this, please. Nice. Ooh, almost didn't play that. And I don't have any more mana. I said we got Narut, 3D shielding and 6% crit chance and 6 damage. So I'm just scaling more and more. And now we go into relics. The real relic shop with 54, which is very dangerous because this might not... You might not have enough. Damage taken boosts your next attack. These are only positives, by the way. Drawing cards from the pile boosts your next attack. Successfully parries with a temporary shield, heal you. I don't care about healing. Uh, boost attacks on damage taken or boost attack on card draw. I would say boost attack on damage taken. Would be nice if I could have rerolled this. With meta progression, you can reroll this guy. Didn't get anything crazy. But still, I will be getting damage if I want to or not. So this is just straight up free damage. Whenever the games decide to give us some. And uh, let's play the like, katana here, literally killing everything. This is going to be double the katana smack anyway, so... Throw this away. Throw this away. Gets attack speed. I got a boost, I need to draw a card. Oh, that's a very good boost. This is a 4 times activation. I'm waiting for 3D mana. Nice block. Draw some cards. I got the katana, don't want to play it. I'd like to play the crits. Let's play the crits and let's go. Nice, nice. 16 crit chance. Goes up and up. 303 the enemy level. <laughs> Let's see how this is going to go. We're still destroying the opponents easily. Um, and this is, you know, the auto battler aspect of the game. At this point, I have made my build. We are ready. This is this is the thing. we got some regen going. We have 346 armor. A lot more than what the game starts you with. And, like, we literally have increased my max life by, I guess, almost two and a half times. Almost two and a half times. Attack speed still on the low, but who cares? Who plays with attack speed this game, man? Just go armor build. Armor and damage build. This is a useless card. This is also a useless card. I mean, these are all useless cards. Might as well go for the 6% damage. Although this cost me 30. This is just so much not worth it. This is worth it. This is not worth it. With 30, I'm gaining 6% damage. I can get for 15, 4% damage. I would like to throw this out. See something else. Get hit. Boom. 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 Okay, blocked at least one. I got more crits. Throw this out. Throw these all out. Let's get a card to be ready. Okay, I got a card draw parry thing. Uh, these are not going to survive a single hit, right? Boom. 99 and survived. Okay. Barring card draw. Uh, I do have money for a boost. And this boosted exactly what I wanted. 37. Throw this out. Put the 37. Throw these out. We don't have enough. Let's go. Ooh, that was times four. I mean, this is going to be insane. 48% <laughs> crit chance and damage. And we got another one of those marks. I, I guess I'm gonna go mark hunting. Let's go down here. I will clear out the whole map, by the way. Just out of principle. I don't think we're gonna be able to get a second one going anyway. Your toast. This is a useless card. Boom. Six damage at the end. I like how the game does not actually do the... It says, it says exactly the damage it does. It never does the higher damage version. Like, if the opponent has 10 life, you're not gonna do 100 damage. It's gonna do 10 damage. Boom. Boom, and then nine. <laughs> Whoa, let's go. We continue getting stats, and the time has come for a color fight. This should be a hard fight, but after this, all the fights should be very easy. 
99 for half health. Wow. That katana is a guaranteed yes here. The way this is... Oh, look what's incoming, man. I'm gonna keep the dead katana for the next fight. Block. Nice. Damage. Block that too. Very nice. I got my 18 dead katana ready for the next one. 41, man. 41. The points are crazy here. Boom. The time has come for the dead katana leech fight. I'm gonna wait for the perfect moment to strike. Here we go. Boom. Oh, I got another one. Oof. Bye bye, all of you. We're attacking. Boom. All of them. 150. 150. Block. Draw me some cards. I got another block and draw me some cards. I lose a lot of life. <laughs> I lost life. Unbelievable. I have mana for both of these. Boom. And good thing I didn't press that button. Another boost. Opponents are attacking us a bit crazily here. For my liking. I'm take. What is this? Why am I taking 150%? Why do I take 1.2? Excuse me? Like what? This times 3, by the way. Sell, sell, sell. Give me that. Ah, come on. Ooh, the difficulty became less. What was that, man? I was taking like 1.5 times damage or something crazy. We're gonna go into the the reduced enemy difficulty here. So that I can just burst through everything. 101, very nice. I don't care about you. Let's boost this times 4. It's gonna draw a card, obviously. I'm waiting for the opponents to go down. This is the thing is taking 50. My damage is 250. What? When did I bring my damage up to 252%? When did this happen? Somewhere along the road, I got something I was not aware of. I didn't even know that I got this much. Or at least now we're doing 50 damage on crits with half damage on the opponent's side of buffing. Bye bye you. This is gonna get one shot. Yep. Oh, it didn't. Wow. Well, we now will need to survive here. More shielding up, more attack speed actually. More both. Yeah, we're gonna go crits. I'm going damage all the way. Damage all the way. We're gonna get smacked. No, no! 3D damage. <laughs> it's okay though. Nice. We got even more crit chance, crit damage or whatever. I'm pretty sure the crit chance damage thing is fake. It's not a thing. It's not a thing. We're gonna play the boost first. We don't have a Daikatana here. We're taking 42 damage per smack. This is insane these things what's happening is insane block nice yeah throw this out block to draw cards let's go here throw this out oh. why do it take so much damage why do it take like damage multipliers what is this block wow wow whoa 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 game chill chill game Throw this out. Throw this out. We're gonna die. Block. Throw this out. Uh, I guess I will play the boost. I need, I need, I need healing. Here we go. Ultimate. Don't kill us. Healing. Foo, foo, foo. More healing. Oh, 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 we survived. Why do I get hit for multipliers, man? Reduce the difficulty, please. 370, this is not enough. Oof. I think we're gonna even lose. There is one here now. Okay, these are easy fights, or at least they should be easy fights. Yeah, this should be a joke fight, to be honest. They're still tanking everything. They can't die, man. They can't die. It's unbelievable. I guess speed. Speed is the way to go. Maybe my shieldy strat is not the best idea. Maybe the shieldy strat was never the best idea. <laughs> This was stupid. Let's go. Smack him. I'm still gonna go for the shielding here. Throw this away. Maybe heal at the end is gonna... Yeah, nice. That's not I'm for life again. Let's go on to this one. At least we're eating through the early fights here very fast. Yeah, this is like one fight done. Boom, boom. Go for the katana. Just beat the fight. Go. The katana fire. Leech the katana. Go. Toof. Again. Toof. Got him. Got him, boys. Got some speed. And now let's go for this fight. 390 is where we're at. This is gonna be a hard fight again. Absorbs have the heals. Let's play boost to maybe block some damage. Back speed. I don't think the shielding matters if you have the shielding. I think this is like by far better. Oh, you hit us. Block. Nice. Healing throw away. 101. It's almost as if I'm I'm stuck here on the damage. It's almost as if I'm stuck at 100 damage. And I'm, I'm hoping for a Dekatana to appear, by the way. Block. Block. 
801 again. Block, boost the crits. I'm gonna play that crits very last. 102. Because that crits is gonna fire like 50 times and it's gonna give us 4 times double damage taken. We don't want that. 44 damage taken right here. 21 on the reverse. Play this very last card. Get hit, insta killed. Instant destruction, block. Block. Now wait for this. I I'm gonna just accept the normal hit. And this thing's dead. Nice. Oh, look how much crits. We got 32 crits. We got some luck. And I'm also gonna get a choice. Plus 1% speed per book. Per card in hand. This is actually good. What is water? Water attack 3. Water. Your next X attacks add one level of bug to the strike enemy. Each level of bug increases the delay between their attacks. I don't care about this. Let's go with this. Speed per card. So this is gonna give us for 37 most likely. Or 40. It's gonna give us 4 or 5 times 2. That's gonna be like 8 speed or something. We're gonna get crazy speed with this. Evade and recover, you throw it away. Crits and headhunting. What's headhunting? Headhunting. Draw X cards the next time you eliminate an enemy. If there is a room in the hand. So that's on kill, get one card. I mean... It's crit chance and card draw. Evade and if you throw it away, it actually activates. Not really, let's roll this too. Damage this card, I hate that. Health and this card, also hate that. Crits parry power. Speed and transfusion. What? 70, this is like 130 to play. 5% speed, 10% speed, transfusion, 5 transfusion. The cost of this card is decreased by f X every time your character takes damage. Oh yeah, that's good. Let's take this. And uh, let's go. And let's continue throwing literally everything in. Now I have 14 cards. So does legendary fit because... Ah, oh, come on, man. And now I have 120% regen on the speed. And we removed you. 400. 370. Okay. I think the play is... We go to this boss, which is going to reduce the difficulty by a lot more. And then we try to get this, and maybe and then maybe we go to the final boss. This is not going well, man. This is not going well. 370 difficulty. 128 on the crit there. 102. What's the difference between those two crits? I guess when I get hit, I get more damage or something stupid. Oh, uh, the speed per card in hand. Yes. 37 on this. How much we do have? 131. 10 speed. Easy. Uh, throw this away. Draw a card. Like a ton of boost something random, boost something random, boost something random. Are you serious right now? Boost something random. <laughs> okay, we got this armor times five. That's what we're gonna play. Throw this away. And this for that matter. Play this. And definitely not the katana. This one. Nice. And we got some more shielding. A lot more shielding for that matter. 28 is a lot. Off to the mini boss we go. 390 levels. Uh, we got Sea Thing. Speed and Transfusion. So every time I get hit, this will... Yeah, this will start becoming cheaper and cheaper. So I don't need to do anything in this fight. I'm just gonna wait for the Transfusion to become very cheap. I'm not gonna play anything else. 10% movement. 10% attack speed's good. Or a level. I guess the idea would be to just draw cards to have a bunch of things in hand, right? Or Transfusion for that matter. I can already play Transfusion, by the way. This is useless. Play the boost. That's what I can get. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely play this and this. So we got the speed up, 17. You know what I should do? I should try to force boost onto into transfusion. Onto transfusion, 410. 410 enemy damage. Very nice. 128 there on the attack. We start attacking faster and faster. I'm seeing it. It is a bit visible. I'm waiting for the blocking. Plus the card draw for free pretty much. Nice. And these are useless. I guess I'm gonna draw some cards. So oh, we found speed per card in hand. That's really good. So we're gonna wait to play this. This being played twice is really, really powerful. Block. Nice. We got some attack speed. Throw these away so I can play the resolve. Yeah, you're toast in one hit. You're toast in one hit. And you're toast almost in one hit. Oh, you're not toast in one hit. And card per hand is here. I'm gonna obviously play this after this dies. Wait for it. Play it. Nice. Nice, and we got 20% attack speed. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. Becoming speedy boy. 420 on the difficulty. And this is a boss. So, how are you doing, boss? 102. 128. 128. We got hit for 42. 102. 148. 128. I still don't know what exactly triggers that. Okay, I want this hit boost to hit that. So I'm gonna just throw these out, play the boost, and draw them back. And now I just hope for the impulse to get mana enough. 
because this is gonna be four times. This is gonna be 20 speed. No, the boss died. <laughs> uh, it is what it is. <laughs> I could have just played the 10 speed and got it, but I tried to min max this. Okay, we beat the boss. There is no chat because I have read the chat in my first playthrough. I'm sorry for that. We're killing the lore. 380. Well, th this card's back. I would like to get this card again, but uh, I'm obviously gonna go with difficulty decrease. Nice, let's begin. Draw two cards. Oh, we got the uh, early soothing, sea thing. And now we just wait for this early sea thing to um, get enough damage reduction, which we're not gonna really see in action. Oh no, we got hit once. I will be able to get 105. I think the 10 speed that this is gonna give us is really good. Attack me both. Yes. Yes. Give us the cheaper sea thing. The okay, sea thing is playable now. I would like now to get some boosts. Can I get some boosts? No. Oh, speed per card in hand is a definite yes. Again, the same thing is also a definite yes. I'm waiting. Okay, we got hit twice. So transfusion is maybe playable. Nice. And transfusion is also playable. Nice. And we got another transfusion. Oh, 30 speed. Vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom. We're going to be attacking faster and faster. I can just go through this. Which is uh, build your deck thing. That's it, literally. Talk. Spirits are very evil. Blah, 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 blah. That's it. Like, coming here just bypasses one node. So I can just go instantly to this one. Let's see. Absorbs half the damage and heal and heals. Okay, speed per card in hand. Nice. I think we're gonna play this. I'm a double attack, and actually, this is insane. Oh, boost is here. Definitely play the boost on the cards in hand. I think... I'm still getting hit. Will I be able to play both of these? I mean, I, I pretty much think I will. Okay, this is gonna be played first. And this is gonna be played second. 17, nice. Let me play this right now. Because I had the time to. Because now the game is over instantly. 3D speed! Now we start actually doing double attacks. And we're making the game easier and easier. But now we have 238 speed. So now I do almost always do a double attack, it seems. Let's go shopping. Now, now I just play for fun. Now we have become God. Draw two cards. Yep, as you see, boom, 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 boom. Opponents are just straight up dying. Boom, dead. Next. All of these are gone. All of them. Bam, boom, boom. Done. <laughs> done. Done. This is super over, man. This is super duper duper over. Uh, For five mana, I lose half your key and heal. Who cares? Crits and vulnerable, we had that. Parry gain temporarily. No, we roll these. Crits but lose health, who cares? Speed bird card in hand, guaranteed, yes. Uh, roll one last time. Cure all status effects, boost. I'm gonna say yes on the boost. And just press this. All the cards got added, including the legendary. 185, chi gain. We will be busted, man. Let's go to the other card gain. Oh, here we go. Instantly get the shielding. Again. That was weird, weird and lucky. Uh, I do want the, specifically the speed. I mean, I did get the speed, but I don't think we're going to be able to play this. <laughs> uh, 105 is playable. Throw, 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 throw. Not playable. <laughs> Not playable. We are too busted for our own good. Speed and Daikatana too. Nice. Daikatana is attacking everything. Yeah, Daikatana is attacking everything. And it's also speed. This is godlike. I'm going to roll once. I'm not going to have the money. Why did you roll? 25% reflect, opportunism 1. Reduces the cost of random card in hand, but to zero. Oh, this could have been godlike. I don't have the money. No, this could have been so good. For 60 mana, make two cards cost zero. And all my cards cost extremely high. Oh man, that's the best buff I could possibly get. I'm a bit sad that we lost that. Shouldn't have gone there. Let's go to random fights. I'm also not going to go there. We want money. Let's go to random fights for now. I'm going to clear the whole map and then we're going to win. Uh, draw cards, draw cards. Uh, this is the whatever card. I will find some boosters. I'll throw these out. Boost those. Throw you out. Boost that. Six card times. Six times. Play this. And we just like that. The Katana 10. <laughs> uh, 12. Man, the boosting thing is so cool. 400 enemy difficulty. Who cares? Who cares? We're too busted. Right. Throw one more. Here we go. Find the boost. Throw these out. Boost the impulse. Boost the impulse. Add two cards. No! No! For killing them too fast. This was such a god hand there. Boost into... Soothing. Soothing is not gonna be playable, man. 
Play this, please. Thank you. <laughs> At least we got something out of this. Three speed. Uh, we're just blasting through here, just making the game harder on our end. Self. Draw a card. Play the shielding, I don't know. I guess... One can hope for the C thing. This is just not gonna happen, man. Throw these out. Boost the armor. I'm gonna go for the armor gain. It's like, oh, we, 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 were too, we were too powerful. Cards, no, because I only have 36. 430 on the difficulty. Thrust the katana speed. We'll find some boosts. Throw these out. Play the boost on this. So this is now faster. It's gonna give us a decent amount. 8 speed is good. 8 speed is good. Let's maybe try to find something at the end. Eh, on the katana. <laughs> Everything's just dying. We have broken everything. We have broken the game. I'm gonna try to get 100 coins and go to the super shop. Mana per card. Uh, speed per card. And boost. If it's gonna hit it. I think I can do it. Yeah, I can do it. Boost. Reflex. No. Draw a card. Draw a card. Draw a card. Draw a card. And now I'm gonna play this and get insane. Value out of this. 291 speed. Even more. Even more. How much did I gain? 22 speed. Let's go. 22% attack speed. Making the game as hard as possible. So at the end, it's gonna be a fun time. And we didn't got any of my good cards. Still didn't get any of them. Yep, I'm not getting cards. I guess I'm gonna try to get the damage then. I might as well. Oh, speed per card in hand. Here it is. Guess what? It's gonna give us one or two. Uh, yeah, let's go here. I'm blinking through. I have 57 still. I want to go to 100 and then go to the super shop. That's what I want to do. Boom, 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 boom. Opponents can't even play, man. Opponents cannot even play. Literally, I'm not allowing anything here to happen. I'm just rolling my hand. <coughs> okay, I'm back. Almost died there from uh, sneezing. <laughs> Throw this out. I'm still gonna go for this. I'm trying to find the boost. Okay, I can play this and this, which is the same amount, if not more. Go here and here. Oh, come on, one more deck, Katana. So close. Uh, let's go here. I still want my 100 energy for the Super Shop. Mana per card is here, very nice. And I boost is here. So we're gonna throw these out. Boost. Play. No, try to find our boost. I don't have that much time. And now hope to get 37 mana. In a timely manner. Right here, nice, we got it. Perfect, we got it. 20 speed. Still at 80%. Let's continue. Difficulty has become 500. Irrelevant at this point. We got complete control over the match. We got complete control over everything, to be honest. Throw this all out. Boost that. Throw this out. I have time. Right now I do. Reflex. Not this. Not this. Not this. Uh, first of all, build up. And we got a boost. Throw these out. Get the boost. Play them again. And now I do have enough for this. Just play this. Boom. Get my crazy spe speed up. And my day katanas. Throw these out. I cannot play anymore. How much did I gain? Oh, 34%. Right now I'm like... Ta -ta 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 -ta. 520 difficulty. Oh no. Reflex. Reflex. Day katana. Boosts. Might as well throw them in the day katanas. Uh, which are called thrusts, by the way. Uh, 93, I'm gonna go for the 100, as I said. For the hundo. Game is not giving us any more difficulty decreases, but who cares. Boost the thrust. Boost the thrust again. And, uh, yeah, just, just play the thrust. Played it. Nice, got my 12%. Uh, 99, one more. I mean, this should give us a fight. You know what, let's not risk it. Let's not risk anything. Double shielding, by the way, is so fun. Seems insane to me that we even get that. And we got 10% here. Everything just gets melted, man. They're not allowed to play. They are not allowed to play. Let's try to maybe draw me some... Oh, another one of these. Definitely play this. Trying to find the boost, maybe. Boost is here. I will not have enough mana. No, I will have enough mana. Boost this and bring them back. And uh, now let's do this. I could have done it again with a boost. A boost. I did have enough mana. That's what I'm trying to do. Like, make my... Here we go. 100. Let's go. Legendaries, whatever this is, boom, 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 dead, triple smack, and instant death. 
Speed per card. I mean, this is pretty useless. Here we go, found the boost. Play this. Try to find another boost. I found another speed per card, right? Yep, here it is. Let's play this. Throw these out. I guess one at a time would be the better. Oop, here we go, another one. In that, throw this out. Another boost, throw these out. Get the boost going, throw this out. Up in our boost, here you go. And now we definitely need to make sure I will have enough mana when the time comes, because if I lose this, it's an eight times activator. This thing is very durable. This thing cannot attack fast enough though. Might as well play this right now. I don't know what I'm waiting for. Play this too right now. My attacks just becoming faster and faster. I get the trash attack speed. Opponent try to play there at the end. What do you think you're doing? Now we're we're waiting for that to go down. How much speed did I get? What? What? 42%? What is this? I don't know what this is. This is the first time I'm seeing this. I guess fire is damage, poison is I don't know what. What is this? Electricity? I guess we go with fire. Fire attack. Spend all key is damage. Nope. It fills you. Fills half your super bar. What is fire attacks? Get three burning attacks. Your next X attacks add one level of burn to the strike enemy. Each level of burn reduces the, at the attack by 10. The damage, that is. These are all trash. I guess fire attack. This is for five mana, get six fire attacks. Spending all key, forget that. Getting all your super. This is your whole super, by the way, because this activates twice. Now we're gonna go with triple fire attacks. I don't care about getting the super. Put it in, make the deck bigger, get more speed. Why do I fight twice? Uh, excuse me? Why do I fight twice here? I didn't. I didn't say we're gonna do this. Alright, we're gonna get the attacks with here. Also gaining mana actually pretty fast. Up here we found the boost. Throw these out. Boost again. Add cards to the deck. Now we have a six time impulse. Which I'm gonna play. More attack speed. Throw these out. See what we find. More attack speed with a good old thrust. Boom boom. And I have 500% attack speed. This is insane and stupid. Insane and stupid. I think I will get enough mana to get the soothing going. Boost again. I'm not gonna get enough mana for the soothing. One can only hope. 100 mana. Pretty hard to get. Maybe. Maybe. Throw this card out too. I have uh, 78. 94. 99. Ah, oh, come on, man. A hunt. Come on. Come on. So close. There is a relic that gives you mana every time you attack, by the way. Uh, let's let's clear the whole map. As I said, we're gonna let's, let's start clearing. I have 100% energy, so I guess the shopping thing that I thought was a thing is not a thing. On speed up, I will obviously just play this thing, the impulse. Six 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 hundred thirty something. <laughs> play this. I got a boost. Throw these all out. Play the boost. Nah, process and playable. And we got reflect transfusion five transfusion. The cost of this card is decreased every time you get. Yeah, no. The katana leech we have that buckle enemies who cares we roll them what is this get to in twice add strike to the next attack water attack three times or reflect and if you parry 20 health that's also useless evade parry boost evade water these are all useless man i'm not gonna roll more add whatever we got we didn't get anything off to the next shop i have 70 coins right now might as well go fight fight and then shopping as i said i will clear out the whole map just min maxing the experience here at least, if not the experience, I guess. Oh, why, why do I do that? I, I didn't do anything this fight. I didn't get anything out of that. Let's go. Come on. I'm missing the go button. Come on, man. I want to see how fast and easy we're going to just break the final boss. I think we're too busted already. This is very stupid what I'm seeing in front of me, at least. Play this, please. Come on. Couldn't play it. Here. Let's continue destroying everything. 79 mana. We got two cards. The opponents are just a joke. Overall, maybe we're gonna get eight armor. Let's go. Eight shielding because ta -ta 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 they dead. Here and then one last. Last but not least shop. Most likely it's gonna be at least shop. Not <laughs> it's actually gonna be at least shop. Man, we have 500% attack speed. I, I, the thing that I thought is trash now has become my most powerful asset. We're like. I can play that. Should have thrown some cards away. Let's see if I can find the final thing in the shop. Boost. Can I get something good for the boost, though? Uh, maybe thrust. Let's reroll a bit. This one is what I want. Throw these out. Boost that. And I'll get them back. 
and definitely play this because I have enough mana. Very nice. And please give me mana for this. Ah, I was trying to throw things away to maybe be able to play it. Crits but lose health, who cares? Shielding, 5 and recovery boost again. We're gonna buy that. Roll him. 1 armor per card in hand. That's a lot. That's actually a lot, a lot. Free speed and inflation, 5. Inflation, 5. Increase the cost of the cards in your hand by X. This is actually... This costs 7 and gives me 6 speed. And if it's my only card, I'm gonna play this. Might as well play this. Bring them all in. 160 energy regen. Even better. Let's go to the last fights left. And then we're gonna go ahead and beat the game. Draw cards. This thing is surviving. Okay, how much damage do we take? 29, 69. Okay, nice. Uh, let's throw things out. Let's get things back. Now that I'm getting damage, this might be worth it. Yeah, I do get damage, actually. Let's play the boost. Oh, we got more of those. So let's go. Ah, this is not gonna cost enough in time. Maybe now? Nice, it got 90. Very nice. Let's take this. And, ah, should have maybe discarded my whole hand. And off to the final fight we go, right? Yeah, we got everything. The shopping isn't anything here. Yeah, this is just a zone. I guess maybe there is specific text if you have beaten the whole map. Fuck. The great water spirit. Blah, 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 blah. We're gonna leave and we're gonna go ahead and win at 680 difficulty. Let's go to the final boss. There is also a thing here. Temple cards, challenge town Shuna and great spirit. And I don't think there is gonna be any chatting here either because I did the chatting. So this is the final boss of the first area and we're gonna just destroy this thing. It is very hazy so that you feel like something weird is happening. The boss just went away. And now it brought in opponents, which, uh, guess what? They're not gonna even attack. Oh, we got attacked once. Oh, no. This is a trash card boost. Reflect, reflect. Fire attacks. Throw this away. And now I'm just waiting. I got this thing. Boom, 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 boom. It's burnt five, so it does no damage. Also, difficulty 690. Nice, nice, nice. Look at these opponents. Go. Fire. Why am I stopped? Boom, 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 boom. You fire. And now we go. Boom, 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 boom. Hello? What's happening? Why 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 am I like stuck in speed zone? Oh the opponent. Da, 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 da. We attack four to five times back to back. Yeah, you you set up a shield, my boy. You do what you want. Oh no, we got hit for 92 and you're dead. <laughs> whoop, whoop, light, flashbang, flashbang. Oh, epilepsy warning. I, I didn't know this was gonna happen. Oh wow. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, this is the actual spirit. Are we gonna get a text here at least for beating the first zone? Should have maybe played on the second zone, by the way. How would I know that this uh, run water... Is water written with one T? I don't know. Water planes purified. We get the meta progression. I'm not gonna wait for these to click. Seven, eight hundred. And these are the cards we unlocked. Now, unlocking this game means that you can get them at the beginning because... These quote-unquote unlocked ones, we had them anyway, right? Be the world boss after having visited all the cards gained square. Ah, nice. We unlocked a new relic, which I can't even read. Cursed. Be the world boss after having picked two curses. I got a new card, so... It's called Curse. It gives you... For five mana, it gives you a key. How much? Get five key for each curse charm in your possession. Lose five key for each charm in your possession. So this would have given us ten key for five. I wouldn't say it's busted. 3 in 1, apply 3 stats effect levels on 1 attack. 8 speed and head hunting. Head hunting is on kill draw cards for 40. 8 speed for 40 is good. Because we had a card that was 100 for, for, for 5, right? And this is 8 for 40. So this would have been for us, it would have been 60 for 16. So this, this is good. Oopsie. Another relic we can't really draw, <laughs> read. And uh, yeah, we won. Now, if you do another run, it starts you with a new deck. Right now, as you see, we got the stupid card we had. You're forced to start with this deck, by the way. There is no real choice. And we'll also go through the meta progression, which because it's very little. One meta progression is that you can see when the opponents attack. Another meta progression is that at the end, you have a bit more time to play cards. Those are the meta progression it shows for, to get. You can go with you get more key if you have 50% or less health. Really useful and powerful. Every key point left at the end of the fight heals you. Might as well. Unused cards are also automatically sold at the end of the fight, increasing the amount of healing. This might not even be a good idea for us. See, the, I mean, I guess at the very, very end, like the moment the fight is about to end, boom, it sold all your cards at the end. See the next card you pick? That seems pretty busted. Picking cards is free when your health points are below 20. This is completely busted. So when you're at 10 life, you just click, 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 click the draw button and then sell them. Click the draw button, sell them. You get a bunch of mana. Like, you have to play very fast, but you get infinite key pretty much if you're low life. 
I had the full stronger blow every three every three attacks. This is straight up a damage upgrade. This is maybe the most heavy meta progression in the game, right? Because it makes your attack straight up be more powerful. Reroll your starting deck at the temple of spending energy. This is literally not useful. You can just start the run and end the run and just loop on yourself. This shouldn't if if it didn't spend energy, then it would just be a quality of life. And right now it's trash because you can just restart your runs as many times as you want anyway. Get a small key accumulation boost if your hand is full. This is good. Get back to your last position of the Mac if you die and you have full energy orb. So if you don't have the shop thing spend, then you are just literally mortal. Meh. Meh. I wouldn't really say that this is... I, I don't know. You should lose the game. Reroll merchant charms by spending... I mean, this is busted, by the way. I'm not saying it's trash. It's busted, but I'm, I'm not saying it's fun. And then reroll merchant charms by spending energy. This is also good, in my opinion, because you might want to get a specific charm. And as I said, there is a charm that says you gain one key every time you attack. So the build we had would be busted. I'm going to go with... Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Um, the second stage here, I'm just going to showcase it. I'm not going to play it. Is this fire planes. This is maybe what I should have played. It seems to be a bit bigger. Can I go to the right side of the map? I guess I cannot even go to the right side of the map with my mouse. Like, you cannot scroll here. Right? You cannot drag and drop. But as you see, this is actually bigger. So maybe should have, could have, would have played that. But it is what it is. Hope you guys enjoyed. As I said, game's going to launch on November 6th. And this one's a sponsorship. Once again, I'm going to repeat here at the end. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it for today. I'm not sure how much more or not I'm going to play this game. Uh, but for now, that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching. And see you guys around. <laughs>